Hi, my name is Jack Hodgins. Welcome back to my channel. I basically wanted to cover, just got an email in from Helipad themselves, and uh, and I wanted to review this. And obviously, I already brought their storm, uh, their storm racing drone, which is the uh, what I call the hexacopter um, version. And I've got a review coming up on, on the website very soon for that one. But I wanted to cover this one because Storm Drone 8 is their um, optocopter basically for aerial filming. And I thought, because everybody else there, obviously mon money's an issue. And it, and this is a perfect solution. If you've already got a GoPro 4 camera, basically, it's all, all ready to roll to attach your own GoPro. £531.79p plus postage, which would probably be around about £40 and stuff. And then you have customs. They don't tend to always put the value on there, so you may get customs charge being around about 14 to 19 pounds where I previous order from them before. So they're pretty good on that. And I'm getting quite building up some nice trust with Heli Power. I've not made any direct contact with them at the moment, apart from order a couple of drones from them, as one of them has been in the competition. And they've been absolute fantastic builds, good quality, and uh, fast shipping. And obviously, you know, because they're not truly doing the VAT bit, I'm sa making a saving too, ordering it from Heli Power South direct from I think it's Hong Kong. But um, when I noticed this in my email just come through a while ago, and I looked at it, and I thought this is pucker. It may not look fantastic on the eye, but at the end of the day, the principles are all there for a helicopter. So if you what if you're going into filming, and basically, I mean, look, look at the Phantom prices at the moment. You can probably pick up a second-hand Phantom for about 560, which is the old version. But if you want the new Phantom 3, you're still looking about um, 800, 900, or, or at least 1,200, depending on what version you get. It's still quite an incredible amount of money. But if you want to start out and not quite sure, then the Storm Drone 8 from Helipower is the best one to go for because they do all the spare parts for this boy. So you can actually get, if you do crash it, you can repair it or it's all repairable. And the best thing about the Storm Drone 8 that I think is incredible is that using the DJI um, flight controller, the A2, which is what I'm using for my hexcot to build, basically. So they are using the DJI product, so you're going to still be practicing the way the DJI does the color um, compass calibration and so forth. You're not going to get any f video feedback directly from the uh, GoPro 4 unless you, but you can build on this. It's, it's a platform you can build on. So you can purchase it at £534 and as you start flying and getting used to flying with it and stuff like that and you get some nice great shots because it all comes with the, it looks like it comes with the gimbal bit and everything on it then you can then uh, start adding things like video feedback and add to it and once you sort of think yeah I've, I've outgrown this then then the next step would be then yeah there I can then st start jumping to the Phantom 3 or the Inspire so it's a great great price and again it's all using carbon, carbon fi fiber uh, um, props they're using. It's got return home feature because again, it's got all the DJI features of return home, uh, auto landing, all that sort of stuff, basically. And uh, just skimming through this here, also got uh, there's the um, NASA controller, yeah, the the, the um, DJI's version. They've got um, looks like a six inch props, and the motors on there are generally what they generally use on most of their storm racing products and stuff. This is not a, a storm racing drone, this is an actual drone for aerial photography. So in theory, if you're deciding to buy a drone that, that, uh, for aerial photography, for your own personal or its business, this probably would be the best one to look at doing, because you're not spending a fortune, it's under 600 quid, or, or thereabouts with post and packaging, and it's not a thousand pound drone, and it's again affordable to repair, and it's a great starting, great starting thing. You know, I wish they did this ages ago because this could have got a lot of people saving some money as they're slowly building up to their um, own product. So as you can see in the pictures here, Drone Eight, sort of similar same size as the DJI Phantom. There, that's the DJI Phantom. I think the Pro or the Vance. Can't remember which one that one is. And now we can see very similar in size, more more power on on the on the blades. And the running time on this thing, I think that includes gimbal is about 15 minutes. 15 minutes seems to be a very sort of uh, favourites or favourite sort of like flight time on most things anyway so uh, if you look at anything like this it's going to be about 15 minutes get more out of it and also bonus but you may be able to add additional battery but again when you add additional battery you add additional weight so you may get a few extra minutes out of it um, but if they can make somehow make the batteries much lighter but much more powerful then you're going to get a lot of flight time out of a lot of these drones basically but we're not there yet on, on the battery technology side but um, no, this, this is all in action, so gimbal underneath, so you're not going to get the jello effect, holding the GoPro 4, so if you do have a GoPro, it's a good good stepping stone to start with, so if you haven't purchased a drone yet and you're thinking about it, 
I would re recommend this uh, one here. I'm not recommending it because they're asking me to recommend it because they, they don't know I do this on their behalf. They don't know I do the reviews on the Storm Race Australia I've brought uh, so far. This is all off my own back because I thought I'd buy that, I'd try it out, and I've been loving most of their products and their tidy builds. They're, you know, they, they do put them together really well. I think they make a better job than I do, basically. <laughs> so all the cabling is tidy, it's all nicely cable tied away. Use and and they've really put a lot of thought into this as well. So you've got all the all the right all the right bits and carbon fiber all the way. You know nice colors. And again, it's got decent controllers uh, like remote controller here. Um, and again, here's all the inside. So you got your you've got your NASA V2 the LED and the main flight controller here. You've got the uh, NASA. I think that's the P is that PDU. Can't remember what they are now. PDU or something. They've got a weird name anyway. So that gets all the motors connecting up and stuff. Then you got the um, R9D, which is the remote control receiver. You got a battery. So I don't understand why you got a battery buzzers light because the DJI NASA has that in in their detection on battery anyway. So, um, but there's an extra buzzer. So, but these buzzers are really loud. So if you don't, um, well, they're more louder than the DJI ones anyway. So you're not going to sort of say I didn't hear that the battery's going flat. There it is again. Carries the battery underneath there. So I suppose you can sort of. Put in uh, different. If you've got, you can get different size moulds to these, um, so you can probably add a different size battery underneath because there's plenty of space to sort of maybe try a, a large battery out. I don't think they're really restricted to the size of battery. Maybe the size of cells anyway. Because I'm, sh I think the DJI NASA goes up to six cells. I think so. You couldn't go anything beyond that, or, or you might end up burning the flight controller out. But there's the there's the remote control itself. Quite nice, sleek, much more. Um, Upgraded design again. I go for more looks. So I don't really go for the technical what it can do. All I'm interested in remote control is um, flying around. Got return home features and a few extra buttons to program up for some shortcuts and stuff. I'm not worried about all where it can sort of be multiple controller for multiple different things. But there you go, nice sleek remote controller. So quick spec on here. I'll put all the links below anyway, so you can actually come on there and have a proper nose through all the spec. So the basic things I'm sort of sticking out at me is. Flight controllers, NASA um, V2, which is the latest one, which is one I basically purchased for my um, quadcopter builds. Uh, GPS systems, so it's all GPS ready to fly. Motors are the 1800 kV, which I think is very similar to the racing drones they use. They're quite good, powerful motors. Flight time up to about 15 minutes, again, depending on your, on your weight. So this is the maximum flight time is tested on a uh, uh, yeah, uh, wind, non windy day with up to a weight of. Uh, 1,330 th grams hovering at a height of 2 meters um, but that could be put to the test basically uh, transmitter, I'm not going to go right into it but there you go, seems a really nice drone same sort of size as the Phantom, great one to start with and uh, so far I've purchased two products from them the Storm, uh, Storm Racer Quad and the Storm Racer X and they've both been damn good fine products from them, really really good um, and, I, and Support is pretty good on it as well, and they always include tools for your spanner, so all up and running. So these are you get lots of spare um, props, charger, battery tools, and even this anti-slip map you can put on there for your battery as well, and a tool to take your um, props on and off and stuff. And they come very packaged very well. I can't um, knock them for that. Really packaged well, and then you can buy all, all the extras and stuff as well. Uh, again, they they do fully stock all spare parts from all, nearly all their stuff that I've seen so far. They do, but I'm really sort of when I saw this on the email, I thought I had to do a quick review of this to let you guys know. But if anybody who's actually works for HeliaPower.com or anyone knows them directly on a sort of like management level, then please let them know about my video and say I am doing the reviews and I think they should actually send this to me to do a full proper review. And a full flight test as well, and to get some of you guys down that live close to me and test it out for yourself as well. So uh, maybe we should all actually write uh, an email to Hedy Power and say, "Come on, get Jack DJI Phantom to do a review. Send him, send him the product um, free of charge, so he can actually do a review, do a full flight test, test it out, get a review up there, and then be able to give this away as a competition prize to all my subscribers. So maybe we should, we should send, but bombard them with emails, maybe." But anyway, so this is a quick overview. I thought I'd get this out. So maybe this might be a, a future one I look at reviewing, unless I can get them to send it to me free of charge to do a full review and maybe see if we can get, get it to be in a competition, the giveaway as well. So um, until next time, remember to subscribe and be safe and flying. 
and uh, always fly within the regulations. Um, don't want to hear any of you guys actually being put away in prison for flying in unrestricted areas. Be safe and uh, speak to you soon. Thank you for watching. Cheers.